One, driving through Minnesota in winter, our family car without heat, the passenger door held shut with rope. My sisters and I in our snowsuits, squeezed into sleeping bags and buckled tightly in the back seat. It is the closest we will ever be. Two, the abandoned house down the street burning to the ground. The neighbor boys and I cheer in its thundering light. A firefighter is dragged from the house, laid on moving in the street. We tell ourselves he's still alive and continue. Three. In the field beside the ashen ruins of that abandoned house, farm equipment unused since the neighborhood was a farm, a rusted plow the color of embers and clay. New machines make everything into dirt. Then slowly, a cul-de-sac begins to form. Five mansions erect out of the dust and finish the work of the fire. Four. My friend sits in his car nearby while I grapple with a boy on the sidewalk. I am on top, punching him in the face. My friend, laughing on three tabs of acid, cranks classical radio and cheers as he narrates every swing. I continue, an aria, snow falls. I continue, working diligently like fire, a machine making heat where there is no heat. Somewhere else, more laughter, perhaps it is mine, five. It's winter still, always, somehow. I am above the soil by luck at this point. My friend next door is wheeled from her house beneath a white sheet. Her husband, home from rehab that morning, sits shivering on the front steps and says nothing. We go to a 12-step meeting that evening. He helps me change my tire. We pretend we are friends too. He asks how to stop it. Years later, he will drink himself to death, and I will hold a pistol in my hand and wonder.